This is why you don't buy hats that are too small. So they look goofy. Don't buy them too small. This is a Dobbs Westward. It's like a, a vintage hat. An open road clone, you might say. But uh, yeah, come look at my uh, music studio slash hat studio slash bedroom slash I need to rent an office soon. Let's see what we got here. But this is my Jerry Garcia painting. That's always the centerpiece. That's his cat Figaro. You could see in little pencil there he wrote Figaro. His pencil signed Jerry. I met him that day, which is why this is so special. I got to hug him and shake his hand and speak to him and stuff. And he was real cool. Here, I'll show you a picture from that day. You can see how freaked out I am. There's Jerry, me and friend. This is also Gus over here, my old drummer. That's Gus, one of the coolest people who ever lived. Now the center, the centerpiece of my room. Guitar picks, gravity picks, V picks, freakishly large, painted. Yeah, these are my favorites right here, I think. Gravity Sunrise XL 1.5. This one's my favorite. It's a hairy derby. A hairy McGill derby because McGill is great. Their hats are just reliable. And they managed to give you great colors and styles of fur felt hats for 220, which is amazing. People were saying, hey Kev, your hats are high. Why is your custom hat 265 or 275? You know, 220, 220 is low, you know? That's really, now, uh, post pandemic, it's really hard to get a good quality fur felt hat for like you know 185 or something like that they're just uh, they're disappearing unfortunately um oh let me show you some of my stingers look at this one oh magic brush the turquoise caddy thing that's a cab the way that stone is sort of flat on the back and domed, that's called a cabersham, I think. And then um, this one, it's got this gray, misty, silver gray color. So it's, uh, it's badger again, but it looks almost like silver fox or something. Little bow. These are cool stingers. And then mine, I use mine to open up like every single box. Hi-yah! Ya ya! Hi-yah! Everybody out there on the internet land, give me your money, man! No? Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'm not that scary. Alright, um. Uh, that's a cadet cap. They're just hard to get. Try to find a nice cadet cap, American made cotton. You know those flat top baseball caps? Seems easy, right? They're tough to get. That's the good New York hat company ones. This is a nice size eight, built more. It's a sage green. Oh, here's my hat. That's my Anello. It's one of my favorite horses in the studio where we do our animation. Frankie's World Show. It's a green screen. Photography lights. It's a little mock schoolhouse that we have. You know, Mario's going to school and stuff. There's always some candy for whenever I have visitors. They can always take candy, especially around Halloween time. Got special mood lighting here. This is one of those uh, oil diffusers there. I like that thing. smell vision I call that my smell of vision What else? Yeah, there's a lot of hats here. Uh... My Monte Cristi Fino bodies are in here. 
Delgado bodies. This is the Stetson Key Club that I've been saving uh, for Robbie. Um, this is my Smokey, Rob Smokey Robinson autographed hat. These are two hats from Matt Abel. Oh yeah, we gotta steam these hats. Okay, that's new. That's gonna be next, I mean. We have two Barcelinos, fresh from Bencraft hats. Bencraft hats. They've been around forever and ever. They're in Brooklyn, 1324 Avenue M, Brooklyn, New York, 11230. Just call 718-972-3784. Also, 718-438-9649. That's 97, I'm oh, sorry, 718-972-3784. 1888 Bencraft. Ah, I see. 188 Ben, 1888 Bencraft, guys. Call that. All right. They have Lago Marcino. They have Borsellino. Um, you call up Steve. You, you tell him, look, Steve, I'm looking for the, the good stuff, you know? I don't want that touristy stuff, you know? I, I want the, you know, before they had the, the unfortunate accident with the Borsellino in 2017, or before that, you know? And, uh, you know, I'll take care of you. Take care of me. You know how it is. You scratch each other's backs, you know? I'll take care of you, Steve. That's New York style. That's the way we do it in New York, you know? You call them up and you say, Hey, look, Steve, do you have pre-bankruptcy Borsellino? And he'll say, Sure, I do. Um, if you can't get through, be patient. It's a small shop. It's only one, one dude. And there's a lot of us. Um, I have almost 15,000 subscribers and um, of those 15,000 subscribers I mean even if 1% of those were calling to get you know there's a lot of people in in uh, the world who want these hats and um, a lot of people are calling him so just be patient and uh, you know if it takes a few days don't worry he is going to the warehouse and getting more, okay? So I know he's got a few more. So be patient, buy pre-bankruptcy, you know, just if you can do it. Um, Post-bankruptcy is nice, but the pre-bankruptcy is, you know, special. And um, be patient with Steve, he's only one dude. All right, we'll put you back in the stand here. So. We're gonna steam both of these hats for Matt. That's gonna be the next thing. I'm not gonna do it now because there's construction here. It sounds like a cow. So we're not gonna do that. But I'm gonna give you a little peek. Look at this guy back here. Whoa, look at that. This is an Alessandria. Oh boy. Alessandria, but there was a little like a line under the felt, almost like, almost like it fit into the cardboard, like when they fit into the cardboard ring and it gets those little impressions. It was like that, but it was kind of like a stripe of it. It was sort of like, almost like a stripe of like dents or something like that. Not exactly spots, but it was sort of like a, a line, like indented, you know. So, so he suggested, why don't you just take it and we'll put a wider band over it. And he did. He put this really nice silver gray band on it. They're replacing the bricks. There's guys right out here outside my window. They're hanging out here. So yeah, we're gonna give him a nice shape and then I'm gonna send it to him. And Matt is gonna give me one million dollars for my time. It's my new price. One million dollars. That's a big crown. You think that's too high? A million bucks. This is my crown simulating method where you can make things seem higher than they are. You know? <laughs> you could go really, really, really high and just pinch it again at the top, you know? That's all you do. So instead of having that U divot there, it's gone. You know, there, that's where it was. Just bring it all the way up. 
You just pinch it again at the top here. It's a very extreme version. <laughs> I wouldn't go that high, but you know what I'm saying. You could always make these hats look higher than they are by doing that. Do something very, very sweet with this hat. Play around with it. We'll make it look like a. Little model T with the little gear shift. You know? So, uh, yeah. That's what it looks like, little round glasses and something like that. Suspenders and stuff. Yeah. See, hats like this, sometimes I like to just not even steam in a perfect uh, teardrop. They look nice like that sometimes, right? Don't they look good like that? Hand shaped. I think the idea is to do a little of both though. Maybe we could do something like that. We'll get him the depth that he needs, make a little, you know, bubble and stuff. So we're gonna do a little combination of both for, for Matt. This is a gorgeous pre-bank. What you do is you tell Steve that you're Kevin's customer, okay? That way he knows what to show you, not to just show you Borsellino, to show you pre-bankruptcy Borsellino. You say, hey, how you doing? I'm Kevin's customer. My name is blah, 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 blah. Uh, he said, you've got some, you know, pre-bankruptcy porcelainos. Bam. So he knows what to show you. Steve knows not to show um, my customers any of the other stuff. Um, he'll pretty much show you the best stuff. Uh, you know, the nicest stuff is quality superior. Triumpho is pretty good too. It's kind of like, it was like $25 less or something. It's, it's a lighter, a little lighter weight. So, I'm not going to say it's like a spring weight, it's certainly not, but it's kind of like somebody who wants a lightweight hat, it's, it's lighter weight. Um, what else? Uh, the travel hats, the ones that have the leather band and the downturn brim, nobody's really asked for that yet, but those are what they call the, <laughs> the water, rainproof line. So, it's not any more rainproof than the other hats, it's just marketing names, just a name. They made a cheaper series sound more better by calling it the rainproof line. It's sort of like suggesting it's a rain hat or a travel hat or something, but they're mostly yeah, travel hats that roll up, ribbon, sweatbands, um, lightweight. Those are rainproof line. Um, if you do wind up with a pre-bankruptcy quality superior or triumphal, you're super hooked up. Um, Personally, you know, I really like the Como. The Como is my favorite. Uh, the Alessandria is really nice too. Um, I like the the Antonio if you like a shorter brim. The uh, Anello is nice. The Anello is a little bit more like a modern Borsellino look. It's kind of like my classical crown, the, the green one. Uh, while the Antonio is a more bigger, baggier crown with a short brim and an overwelt. So either way, you're super hooked up. So I think, Matt, we're gonna do this sort of like a hand-shaped kind of a thing, you know? I think that's gonna look really nice. We'll just, you know, we'll make the front look right. Nice and high. You could pinch that more if you want. If you want a tighter pinch, that's up to you. But we're gonna keep it kind of a hand-shaped look. We'll make sure that you have the depth that you need on top. And, uh, you know, and everything is steamed in so you just won't lose the shape. And then from here, you could use this as a, you know, jumping off point, turn it into a teardrop or a cork pie or, or whatever you want. But uh, I think we're gonna do something like that and try to keep a hand-shaped look um, for you. The other hat, I'm not so sure. He's got a black film here. Um, that will be another, another episode altogether. So anyway. I just wanted to show you that hat. It's a really cool hat. Um, if you do pull up Steve over at uh, Ben Craft Hats, let him know you're Kevin's customer. Um, a, you're gonna get showed the right stuff. B, I also get my, you know, 
commission or, you know, whatever. I don't actually get a commission, but Steve will take care of me. And um, what you need to do is just let him know. So you can get sure of the right thing. I don't want you guys to go home with the wrong stuff. So talk to him only. If it's getting frustrating and you want to talk to somebody else, just wait. Wait a day, wait another day, talk to him. Don't say, oh, I talked three, four days, it's got to my business or not. He's just juggling people. To him, it's just a million guys just calling at the same time, and he's just trying to take care of it, you know. Um, give him time if you want it, and uh, patience is a virtue, but, uh, yeah. What can I say? I'm over here, he's over there, you know. Oh, I scratch your back, you take care of me, you know what I mean? You know how it is. Yeah, you grease my palm a little bit, I take care of you, you know? Yeah, don't spend it all on one day, all right? Yeah. Take care of yourself, Bobby. Right here. Right? Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. It's good to see you. And I'm still taking deposits for Kevin Todd Gerber Customs. It's my first run of custom hats in the two colors above, mint in black or mist gray with carbon. The way to order is to PayPal a 50% deposit of $137.50 to the email above. I'd also like to give a shout out to McGill Hats in Canada for all of their support and for making an amazing hat.